If you've noticed that your child has difficulty paying attention in the classroom, or that they can't seem to focus on class assignments, it might be a good idea to find out if they have ADHD or hearing loss. That's because ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and hearing loss can present with similar symptoms. And unfortunately, both conditions can have a significant impact on your child's overall development and their progress in school. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is one of the most common neurodevelopmental conditions of childhood. Children with ADHD often exhibit a variety of symptoms including, but not limited to, impulsive behaviors, a short attention span, difficulty focusing on tasks, excessive squirming, fidgeting, or overall activity, difficulty taking turns or interacting appropriately with their peers. Unfortunately, diagnosis of ADHD can be difficult and somewhat subjective in nature. That's because there are no specific tests that can be done to determine the presence or absence of the disorder. Instead, healthcare professionals must rely on observations of a child's behavior and psychological symptoms in order to make a diagnosis. On the other hand, hearing loss is a term that is commonly used to describe a condition in which someone has hearing levels that are below normal thresholds, either in one ear or both. The National Institutes of Health further breaks down hearing loss by severity. Mild hearing loss is hearing loss of 20 to 40 decibels. Moderate is hearing loss of 41 to 60 decibels. Severe is hearing loss of 61 to 80 decibels. And profound hearing loss is hearing loss of more than 81 decibels. Children with hearing loss often exhibit the following symptoms. Inappropriate behaviors such as acting out or not responding, reduced attention span, difficulty with social interactions, impaired academic performance, as well as speech and language delays. Fortunately though, there is a way to definitively diagnose and quantify hearing loss. The most common method is through a newborn hearing screening for infants or a hearing test for older children. Since ADHD and hearing loss often present in similar ways, it can be challenging for parents, caregivers, or educational staff to determine the exact reason for a child's behaviors or poor academic performance. Unfortunately, a misdiagnosis of ADHD when the problem is actually hearing loss can lead to unnecessary prescription of medication for treatment. An inaccurate diagnosis also does little to help with a child's impaired performance at school. And, failure to recognize hearing loss and treat it appropriately can lead to speech and language delays. So, what is the best way to tell if your child has ADHD or hearing loss? First, it's important to realize that they could actually have both. And, as the parent, there's no need for you to figure it all out on your own. Be sure to mention your concerns to your child's pediatrician. He or she can then refer you to the appropriate medical professional. To determine whether your child has ADHD or hearing loss, a hearing test is often performed first. This, along with a thorough audiologic evaluation, can rule out or confirm the presence of hearing loss. Then, your child may be referred to a psychologist for further evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment if there is still a concern about attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. If you suspect your child has ADHD or hearing loss, it's important to seek professional help right away. The sooner an accurate diagnosis can be made, the sooner an effective treatment plan can be created and implemented. Then, your child can be well on their way to healthy development and a positive educational experience at school. If you live in or near Mesa or Scottsdale, Arizona, Advanced Hearing Group is the Hearing Health Clinic near you. Simply schedule an appointment with our audiologist today and we can help your child get on the road to better hearing.